Work EDC 2018. Still using the VanQuest Trident 20. Still in good shape. This is a year old, guys. Exactly one year. So, what I do for work when I carry this is a little bit different than what I do most days because it. Uh, I don't carry my firearm to work, so this is all just stuff for work. But I don't usually use anything in the bag but what I'm going to pull out. So what I'll show you is basically what I have. So on the outside, I just keep the water bottle, the VanQuest one. Fits any water bottle pretty good. And then you can always pull, this, pull it tighter or whatever. The admin pouch. Still the same, just a couple of pens, a stylus, sharpies, keys. One thing's different, I keep the uh, Nightcore, a Nightcore tip in here now. Pretty good little light. I think it's de uh, dead actually, but I could just give that a little charge. And so basically what I do for work is I just take out what I need. So I have my earbuds, which, are they in there? They're not even in there. Oh my god, I left them in my gym bag. Oh no, I'm sorry, I do have them. They're over there. Okay, well, whatever. A um, couple of notepads and chapstick, and then Altoids. But in here is what I usually use work on the outside here you have a black scout pen so this is a van quest and a med pouch and then in there we all know what's in here it's all the, pretty much the same uh, I, I keep some food for work in here a um, couple of cliff bars and Turn the flash on. Some beef jerky, peanuts down there, all high protein, high energy stuff. And then you got your toiletries up here and that's about it. So, so these are mainly what I'm using for work. This one doesn't have the pen in it because it's actually clipped to my pocket. But this is just a zebra. 701 and then in here I keep my uh, kind of difficult to do it one hand but a field notes pad a new one this is brand new I went with black this time and my checkbook so this is where I document money stuff in this recycle firefighter book this one is more for like work all work stuff truck stuff and just general notes and my journal I believe oh I'm sorry my journals here so I keep a journal and then I keep this is all like just work stuff these are all brand new I just got these field notes the black ones so I replaced all my notepads this year and it's a Fisher space pen and these are from recycled firefighter on body stuff I have the G-Shock still Atomic Solar Sun 2 Clipper awesome freaking watch guys this thing I've had for about three years now still ticking still on point never charged it never dies I love this watch but I am due for a new one I think I might get the same one but I also want to get a, a kind of a classier watch and then of course on body stuff I lost my other O light during the Eagle Super Bowl, so I'm rocking the uh, the 900 lumen S1 baton. Um, you know the Turbo S1. And that goes right there, and then I have my Leatherman Surge, which is too heavy to carry in pocket 
I mean, if you're carrying that thing in your pocket, then that's your problem, but I carry it on a sheath like this, and then I have this little pry tool, which I find myself using all the time when I don't want to use a knife to pry something, or when I don't want to fuck up one of my knives, then I use this. Did I just say the F word? Sorry. I'm trying to stop doing that, so my videos start getting monetized. And over here, on the other pocket, I keep my zero tolerance 0808, which I don't always bring to work, but I did I did today because I don't know I just did. Back in the back pocket, the VanQuest wallet, some extra cash I have just flopping around in there, which I got to take care of. But that's my VanQuest wallet. I'm not going to open it because my ID. And then in the other back pocket. I keep a handkerchief and uh, let me go turn this heater off hold on okay sorry about that um so a handkerchief and another field notes and that goes in my rear pocket back here and that's the field notes I use for work and then here we'll just get into the medical kit so this is my medical kit my personal one for work um, let me stop it and open it. So you'll notice right out of the gate I keep red tabs on it. Just to make it identify a little easier. Up front there is a mask for CPR. And then I just, this is like a boo-boo kit. This is not a trauma kit by any means. Um, so this is more stuff that I'll, I would need for work. A lot of alcohol prep pads to clean cuts. Uh, mole skin for if your feet's getting hurt. Scissors, tweezers. This little razor knife thing, just for whatever reason. Uh, tape. Um, a lot of like bad cuts you'll get in that place like where I work. So wound seal, uh, neosporin, um, more gauze, new skin, you know, the bottle of liquid new skin. And then back in here, there's just a lot of like, all right, like burn cream for welding burns. And you know, you get burned a lot, diarrhea pills, band-aids. Just, oh, oops, it's like a more advanced boo-boo kit, you know what I mean? There's a temperature thing if you need, somebody needs that, you know, clean out cuts, bad cuts, and more wound seal over here, a lot of big gauze pads in case you, you know, you can really get banged up here, moleskin, I said that already, but you know, it's just a, a little bit more advanced of a boo-boo kit, but not on a trauma level to where, you know, you're gonna deal with like bullet wounds and stab wounds and, and stuff like that. So, but it is stuff that I use for everyday usage at work. And then in here, there's a lot of tools. And then first, right out the gate, I always keep, this is a little life hack. I keep a 20 or $40 in there under inside. So what you do is you, just put a slit inside the velcro and then you can hide the money in there put it back and nobody really knows so what's cool about this is this locks if you want it to and then I'm missing actually one thing in here that's usually in here and that's my anchor power bank I always always have it on me I was charging it at home and I ran out the door today and I forgot to put it in its case but I don't need my power bank today luckily I don't think so you know but I did forget it but that's usually here and the cord is I usually put here so you know is what it is um, right here you have well let's just start from over here so I keep a Burt's Bees with some and a lighter little mini big lighter both of these with about you know 12 to 15 feet of electrical tape sunscreen um, a sharpie and a pilot g2 this is a great pen I'll go out of my way to look for one of these and use one of these pens then down here just a Gerber light razor knife
Um, here's an extra battery for an O light. Uh, that's just RC123. Then you have some wood locks, pick locks. I also have, also have a set of um, titanium pick locks in my wallet. Here I keep a, uh, a pry bar. You never know when you need to get into something. Right here I keep a Leatherman um, Wingman, just a backup Leatherman, just in case. This one's spring, spring loaded, also has a pocket clip if you need it. And that's pretty much it for this area. Down in here, I keep some band-aids, some um, a razor blade, there's the locks for the bags if you need to lock it up, uh, alcohol prep pads, and then in this slot I keep a pair of um, latex, black latex gloves. And then inside here you see this, this is a sill lock key. Now what this will do, if we'll take a walk down over here, it's like most industrial places, will have like their hoses and they won't have you know the hose so you can't get to the water and you can't turn the water on they'll have it and it'll just be out here like this so if you need emergency access to water this will open that up so you just find the right one and that's it right there so you know and that'll turn the water on and you know outside of places like uh, factories or plants or um, skyscraper buildings any buildings they won't have their nozzle hose like this where you can just turn their water on but if you have a sill lock key you'll be able they all have that so you'll be able to access water at any time if uh in a shit hits the fan situation or an emergency situation where you need water so these are good to have you can pick these up on amazon um pretty cheap i think it was like something like five bucks or six bucks or something so you know it's it's fairly heavy though but whatever it's worth it I think to have in there now here there's usually a cord that has an Apple cord and a regular USB Android cord but I don't have it with me so here I keep a paper paper clip um, most of the time what I do with this is I attach my earbuds which are in here to my shirt so the earbud wire doesn't um, get caught and rip them out of my ears so that's just a little nifty thing I use um, here's some Gorilla Glue or just some kind of a super glue. Loctite super glue. Cap fell off here. Um, here I keep a crescent wrench. Cheapy crescent wrench, but it works. And then here I have a SWAT tourniquet. So that's a trauma item. I don't keep it in there because it always stays here because I have a couple of them around. And then back in here, just a couple of batteries, a couple of double A's, a triple triple A's and a double A. And then unzippering this area here, I keep more medical stuff just in case. Uh, a lot of alcohol wipes, scissors. Um, diarrhea pills, a condom, neosporin, more tape, stuff like that in there. Bug bite, burn cream, stuff in there. And that's it for the EDCM Huge. And uh, this is Molly Web. You can web it to the Molly it to the bag if you want or whatever. And this is called the EDCM Huge. And uh, this is a great little pocket. Well, not really a pocket organizer, but it's a great organizer. Um, and yeah. So that's what I use for work, and that's my EDC work stuff. Generally what I have on me all day at work is most of this stuff here that I use every single day. So it's not like... And I've been really thinking about the EDC stuff a lot lately. And um, I think I'm going to slim down my bag and get a new bag and, and switch it up a little bit. Um, what I realized from going to the parade and walking around with all this I, I actually didn't walk around with I slimmed out a lot of stuff like I took a bunch of stuff out that I wouldn't need so I would have room for stuff that I would need like water and food but I did definitely bring a boo-boo kit and a few tourniquets just in case you know because it was millions of people there and um, but I didn't bring like you know like uh, I took this out I took the crescent wrench out I took a bunch of stuff out and lightened up the bag I didn't bring like all my notepads and all that stuff or pens and and all that other crap. I didn't bring a bunch of 
freaking extra magazines. I, you know, I did bring my firearm, of course, and I had it on me. But, you know, it just, it, you know, in that kind of a situation, when if something did happen and somebody had a firearm, there's just too many damn people. I'm just running. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm just freaking running. You know, you pull, you pull your gun out and try to save the day there. Somebody, chances are somebody's going to think you're the shooter. So, you know, you got to be really careful with all that kind of stuff. So you, you think about it, you know, it's really not practical a lot of times to, uh, for me to uh, have all that stuff. So here's my earbuds, by the way. They're just over there. Pretty good. They're cheap. They're the best ones I've been able to use so far. Came with this nifty little case, a bunch of different, you know, little earbud things. But I like them. They're uh, wireless, so I don't like wires hanging and phones dropping out of my pocket when I'm lifting weights and stuff, so, uh, yeah, but yeah, so I was thinking I'm just going to get the recycled firefighter 12 hour day pack, the battalion, I really, really, really like that pack as far as for being in crowded areas, because constantly people were, were bumping into the bag, and it was like, oh my god, it was such, it was just so annoying, so, you know, I'm going to switch it up a little bit, and I think I might go with a, a messenger style bag even too for EDC. Because honestly, I don't carry a backpack like a backpack. I mean, the thing goes from my house to my car. You know what I mean? And that's about it. And then from my car to in here most times. And it's like, that's all it does. It doesn't, I don't really go, I don't walk around with it. I mean, I had, if I'm going hiking or whatever, that's different. Or I'm, I'm at somewhere like the parade. Yeah. But now I'm thinking like, all right, why would I, I don't want to bring that kind of bag to the parade. It was just too much, too much stuff and I didn't need it. So I'm gonna go with the 12 hour battalion for things like that because that's a flat designed bag. You'll see guys, it's gonna be awesome. So I got uh, some new EDC stuff coming up soon. Uh, we're gonna change it up a little bit so I can keep the videos coming because everybody's enjoying them much more than all my other stuff that I do. So uh, we got some new gear coming. I got some uh, new guns coming in the next few weeks. So um, stay tuned and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.